Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. We were discussing about matplotlib package. Today in this tutorial we will discuss about grid function. If you want to display the grid lines in the figure then you can use this function. Grid lines are the lines that cross the chart plot to show axis divisions. So the syntax of grid function is the function name is grid. This function belongs to pyplot module so you need to take matplotlib.pyplot.grid and the first parameter is b, the value is none, second is which and value is major, axis, default value is both and keyword arguments. Okay, so this is the syntax of grid function. The first parameter is b, default value is none. It is a boolean value. You can take true, false or none value for the b parameter. If I take b as true, that means it will show the grid lines. If you take b as false, it won't show the grid lines. If you take b as none, that is the default value. Then if the keyword argument is present, then it will set b as true and it will show the grid lines. If b is none and you didn't mention any keyword arguments, then this toggles the visibility of the grid lines. There is nothing but it will toggle between hide and show. So let's see the example to understand this parameter more. So here we have a program to display a simple plot. And if I execute this now, it will display the plot. But here we can't see any grid lines. If you want grid lines, then here you can use grid function. So plt dot grid. You can use this grid function before the show function. The first parameter is b. If I take true, it will show the grid lines. So I'll take b as true and I'll execute this now. Here we can see the grid lines. If I take b as false, it won't show any grid lines. If I didn't take any value for b, by default it will take b as none. And if I take any keyword argument now, like color or the line style of the grid lines, for example, if I take color as red. So here I'm not mentioning the b parameter, so it will take the default value. But here we are taking the keyword argument that is color. Okay, so now if I execute this, it will show the grid lines in the red color because when I didn't mention the B parameter, it will take the default value. But here I mentioned the keyword argument. That's why it will set B as true. That's why it will show the grid lines. If I didn't take any keyword argument and if I didn't mention any value for B, it will take none. So it will toggle between hide and show. For example, now I'll just take plt.grid. So B parameter will take the value as none and there are no keyword argument. So now if I execute this now, here we can see it will show the grid lines. Okay. But now if I copy this and if I take this again, I'll use this function again. And if I execute this now, here we can see it won't show any grid lines. So this grid function with the default value for b that is none and without any keyword argument toggles between hide and show. When I use this grid function it will show the grid but if I again use that it will hide the grid lines. So this is about the parameter b. So the next parameter is which the default value is major. Here we can take which as major or minor or both. So we can take three values for which major, minor or both. The default value is major. What this parameter will do? So this parameter will tell which grid lines to apply changes on. In the grid lines, we have major grid lines and minor grid lines. So if you want to do any changes to the grid lines, for example, if I want to change the color of the grid lines, then here we can change the color of only major grid lines or only minor grid lines or both. 
so now let's see the example for this which parameter so first i'll take b as 2 because we want to display the grid lines next here i'll take which as so by default value is major right so if i take it as minor now and if i execute this now it won't display any grid lines that is because to display the minor grid lines first we need to turn on the minor ticks so for that there is a function plt dot minor ticks first we need to call this function now if i execute this so here we can see the minor grid lines so as i said this which parameter allows us to choose where we can do the changes whether we want changes in the minor grid lines or major grid lines for example here i'll take color as red for the minor grid lines next again i'll use this function here i won't take the which parameter so that is nothing but it will take the default value that is major now if i execute this here we can see uh, major grid lines as well as minor grid lines but because both has the color red we can't see the difference so i'll take the color of major grid lines as green and now if i execute this here we can see the major grid lines are in the green color and minor grid lines are in the red color if you want to change the line width here you can change that Here we can see the line width of major grid line is 10 that's why here we can see the difference so using this which parameter we can do the changes to the major and minor grid lines separately and if you take both here it will apply the changes to the both minor grid lines as well as major grid line okay so this is about the which parameter if you want to learn more about the major and minor grid lines you can google it so the next parameter is axis the default value is both and we can take axis as both or x or y it allows us to choose which axis to apply changes on it will tell about the axis to apply changes on whether x axis or y axis or both so let's take the example for this i'll take axis as only x okay now if i execute this here we can see the grid lines in the x axis if you take y we can see the grid lines only in the y axis if you take both that is the default value it will give the grid lines in the both x axis and y axis here we can see same in the case of minor if i take which as minor and if i take it as x here we can see the minor grid lines in the x axis okay so this is about the axis parameter so the last parameter is keyword arguments so keyword argument allows us to change the line properties of the grid lines for example if you want to change the color or the line width or the line style you can use the keyword argument we already discussed about the line properties in the previous tutorial i will give you the link of that video in the description box if you want to learn more about this then you can watch that video if i take color as like this these are the minor grid lines because i took which as minor right that's why okay so this is about the grid function if you want to display the grid lines in the figure then you can use this function so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care